In Chabach, it just means the hearth. And that, that's the only pronunciation I've ever heard for the ordinary word. In Chabach. I don't think there is a difficulty. There is an old word, al, uh, which you get an alkloid for a Dumbar, the old word for the Barton, meaning a rock. And door, an old word for water, which is used in many place names. If you say Ben Croachan, it's not bad, it's all right. But the Gaelic is Croachan Bjaun. Skur in Englishian. Skur has a long U normally, but when you put in the glide vowel between the two consonants after it, it becomes short. Skur in Englishian. Like we usually put uh, the definite article before it, which is A N T hyphen, and say Antonach Ekach. It means the gapped or notched mountain. That could be pronounced in different places, Brai Riavach or Prairiach. Now, Brai, or pronounced in some places Brai or Brai, it's a word for brace. The upper, it means the upper part. Riavach which is often pronounced in many places, riach, means generally brindled, and it's used very much of the uh, old, of highland cows with a mixture of black and red, and it's a, it's a very common adjective for the devil. Well, of course, in English it's just Ben Nevis. I've never heard anything else. The Gaelic is Ben Nivesh which would be, which is spelled B-E-I-N-N-N-I-B-H-E-I-S. I always heard it as Crick Mickey, but it could be Crick Mickey. A friend and I in 1935 set out to climb it, but had to turn back because of very, very heavy rain. The pronunciation of that is lur vein. Lur means a hoof. There's no doubt about that. The B becomes a V sound and is written BH. Lur vein. As it is written, it uh, is pronounced Lyuch. But I know that old native Gaelic speakers from Torridon sometimes pronounce it Lyogach, where the T in the middle should be a G. And Shlyog is a Gaelic for a spear, but uh, it would appear to have something to do with, uh, with uh, the word spear, although it certainly doesn't look like a spear. The first uh, would be, is pronounced Skrubheim. Mam can mean anything like a, really a lump on the body to a, a, a rounded hill. Skurinur, the peak of the yew tree. Yur, a yew tree. And it would appear to be a very common uh, kind of tree in the old highlands. Uh, stop means as, it's much the same word as the English stab, something that stabs. Stop, barn, the fair or white stop. This is never used in Gaelic. It's called a vein vor, the big mountain, to distinguish it from a vein atha, the long mountain across on the other side of Glenlich. As far as I know, Nobody in Kintail ever says anything except Skururen, which ought to be spelled U with a grab accent above it, R A I N. Skur Nakish Nakishtudya, the score of the black kist or chest. Probably the Kintail person will say Skur Nakishtya Duya. I would say Skurumor, but no doubt a lot of people would keep, would not put, put in the glide vowel and between the words and would say Skur Mor. It means a big pick. Meow Korom. Meow is used of a rounded hill. 
Gorom means blue, but in Gaelic of vegetation, it means green. Uh, now, there's Aalyakan, meaning a jewel, or something very beautiful, um, and it, it could be the genitive of that. There is, however, a, a difficulty, as pointed out by the great Watson, that um, there's an Inveraligan, which would suggest that, it, that uh, the name came f from a river, as river names are so very old. The name of this mountain pronounced by a Gaelic speaker. But if N-A-R-N-A-I-N is one word, it must be pronounced in Gaelic Narne it means a beacon hill. I, th I think that is very probable. Alec Sullivan. I am uh, told that uh, it is Sulus from a Norse word meaning a pillar. I've never heard a separate name for the inaccessible pinnacle itself. It's regarded as part of the Skurigerek. Now, the native pronunciation is Uskurigerek, the uh being the. There is a glide a, or a uh sound, put between uh, skur and jerek. Uh, that's very common in Gaelic. Uskurigerek, the red peak.